Hi everyone, this is Adam's DM, and today I'll show you how to make an assassin vine. First, I'm gonna need a base, and a piece of modeling clay. I started by taking small pieces of modeling clay and rolling them until they're long and thin. Then, I took a piece of baking paper and started forming a large cluster of vines. Piece by piece, I added more vines and tried to build them up to the right size. I didn't want to have any loose ends showing, so I always tried to put them underneath what I already had. When I decided it looked good enough, it was time to bake it in the oven. After taking it out of the oven, it was still a little soft, but it hardened after cooling. When I was done with the vine piece, it was time for the base. In D&D 5e, Assassin Vine is considered a large creature, so I'm using a 2 inch base. I used Vallejo Earth Texture and a wooden popsicle stick. You can buy them in packs of like a hundred in most craft stores. I put a thin layer of the texture on the base and left it to dry. It took about three to four hours for it to dry. While I left that to dry, I decided to create a little flavor for the miniature. I still had a couple skulls on the spruce from my unfinished skeleton unit from Age of Sigmar. If you want, you can check it out clicking here. So, I decided to use one of these. All I needed to do was to cut it out, prime it and paint it. For this, I used Vallejo Surface Primer in grey and paint by the name of Elphic Flesh. In the meantime, I also primed the vine with a black spray primer. Remember to do it in a well-ventilated room, or like I did, outside. To make the painting of the skull easier, I glued it to the top of a cotton swab. It's very important to remove all the cotton before gluing it if you're using super glue, because they can react and produce toxic fumes and even fire. After the skull was painted and dried, all it needed was a good bath and black wash. Then it had to be put aside to dry a little more. After that, it was time to paint the vine. I used a dark green base with two lighter shades of green for dry brushing. First, I painted the whole vine with the base color. Then gave it a solid dry brush with the lighter green. In the end, I dry brushed it with the lightest green, but I made sure to do it from one side only, to indicate where the light's coming from. All that was left to do was to assemble all the pieces. My base wasn't yet completely set, but I just couldn't wait any longer. I applied a few drops of super glue onto the base and put the vine on it. When doing that, remember not to use too much glue, because it can leave white stains when it dries. Then I found the right spot for the skull and also glue it in place. The last thing to do was to touch up the base a little bit. I used brown for dry brushing and a dark brown wash. I like to cover my minis with this matte medium I bought to make them a little more durable and to protect the paint coat. 
Now it's finished. Here's how it looks on a gaming mat. I hope this video was useful and entertaining. You can also find me on Instagram, the link's in the description. See you guys next time!